that explorer this is an amazing tool uh, this video is going to be just an example of how you can actually implement that explorer uh, to any type of transformation process uh, I'm going to be using tweets from Twitter uh, and basically consume a JSON file or document that comes from Twitter and consume it with Power View in Excel 2013. Uh, as you can see here I'm actually in the developer section of Twitter uh, where you can actually have uh, just the information about how you can actually query the data from Twitter, how you can actually like, access those data, that data they, that they actually have stored, stored there, and basically the limitations that it has. For example, this specific uh, format that we're actually using here, uh, it says that it's actually rate limited. Uh, it doesn't require an authentication, I'm actually using uh, the API 1, the, the version 1. Uh, this is the response format, how you can actually consume this. And this specific JSON document uh, is not consumable by default in Excel. You actually need something to translate this so that it can be actually consumed in Excel. Uh, the methods is get, uh, this is the API version, and what you actually get, which is the tweets. So, right up to this point here, they actually have an example. I'm just gonna use it so you can actually just see it. So I open Excel 2013, go here where it says that Explorer, click here where it says from web. Now, I don't wanna use specifically the example that they have here, but what I wanna use is instead of querying blue space angel I want to query power period and I want the returns per page to be 100 which is basically the maximum of information the maximum amount of tweets that we can actually query I just hit OK and it creates this uh, it actually opens this new win window, the query editor, and it tells me, hey, this was completed in this amount of time. This is the max ID, the max ID string. Uh, the next page, um, this is the page one, um, and this is results, results per page. And if you can actually see here where it says list, it's actually a hyperlink. If I actually click here, then it will actually open a list of all the tweets that I was able to get from that specific JSON document. If I actually click in any of those, I will get all the metadata metadata from the specific tweet. But I don't want to consume one one by one. So I click here and expand this uh, section, where it actually shows me all the steps that I have been doing, uh, that I've done so far. And if I go back one, I go here where it says list. I want to delete this one, this step. And I want to transform this list into a table. Now, what happens when I transform this into a table? You'll see, you'll notice that the only difference is that I actually get this new icon. If I click on this icon, it will actually expand or unhide the actual columns that are in this table. These are all of the columns that are actually in this table and I'm just gonna hit OK and it will unhide off or actually bring me all of those uh, specific columns. So here is actually telling me hey you went from here source then you click on results then you actually change that as you can see here table from list and that information here you change in the type and then you expanded the call that's basically what I did and that's pretty much it all, all that you actually have to do 
now if you want to do anything else to this data here you can go ahead and just hey I want to split this column into two or remove duplicates any information like that you can actually change it or if let's say that let me see here um, let's say that for some reason data in here is not for example Bastion, Bastion. Uh, I want to change this so it can be transform this from I don't know let's be capitalize each word it changed to this and best best end is actually uh, capital B now now that's kinda cool after I'm actually done with this I can just hit done it will actually bring that table to Excel and as you can see here it will bring me this query settings to my right and what I'm gonna do is that I don't want this to load on the worksheet I don't want this to take any any memory out of me so I'm gonna click here and I want this to be on memory but on my power preview data model so I click here which says load data model now it's trying to open power preview is actually trying to load not just the data but actually the connection stream the actual query is actually importing all that metadata into power preview so I can actually get a connection And basically told me that it's loaded to the data model. I can click here, manage, so I can see the Power Pivot window, how it actually looks inside Power Pivot. It's preparing the Power Pivot window. Please wait. And I say here, I can actually see here query one. So what is this query one? Like, wh where did it come from? If I go here with where it says table pro properties, I can actually just take a look at let's say uh, let's see, let's say that we can actually get a better one from the existing connections if I actually go here to select existing connections while well, it's actually loading when it finishes, it finishes loading it will actually show me that connection string which is not just values in a table anymore it's actually a connection string to that explorer as you can actually see it here so this is actually connecting to that explorer in and in this case, got a data explorer is actually the one that is uh, making all the process, all the connections, uh, all the steps that you actually saw there. Uh, it's actually doing the ETP process, the extract, transform, and publish. Uh, is now actually uh, being consumed in Power Period. So I'm actually done with this. I actually have my data here. Uh, let's say that I actually have it the way that I want it. Uh, as you can see here, I actually have the profile image. I'm gonna change this, change this so it can be an ima image URL. Fair enough. Excel 2013 actually suggested this one as image URL, and this one too. Let's look at those. I'm gonna go here where it says insert. Insert Power View. Working on opening Power View sheet. Trying to open the sheet. Loading or yeah, loading Silverlight. Let's wait for it. Okay, so we are actually here, and we have this back here. Now let's say that I want to see the images first. 
I want to see this image. I drag it and drop it on the fields. Once it's actually in the fields, it should be requesting me uh, to get the data from those URLs. I say enable content. Yeah, you can get the data from those. Okay, let's say that I actually have it here. Uh, I want to see this. Let's say uh, I want to see this as a card. And I actually want to see who they are. Okay, so you can actually get the idea of how they are actually showing in here. All of them are actually showing here. Anyone who actually uh, talk about or tweeted about PowerPuter is actually showing in here, or the most recent 100 ones that tweeted about that one are actually here and from there you can actually create all the measures that you need uh, just play with it and get the data that you actually uh, the insight that you actually want uh, besides that there's actually a new tool which is the analytics for twitter 2003 2013 sorry that was created by extended results that actually give you uh, it's actually doing the connection or actually using the API 1.1 from Twitter and it's a pretty it's pretty, pretty cool uh, it actually has all the integrations all the the charts all all the analysis that you can actually think of so give it a try uh, I'm gonna leave the link in the description below and that's basically it for that as well this one here, the analytics for Twitter, is not actually using Data Explorer, as Data Explorer actually came out afterwards. But possibly they might uh, create a new version that will actually use uh, Data Explorer. Uh, thank you guys for your time, and please subscribe.